Hey guys, welcome back to a flight attendant vlog. As the title states, today I am going to Paris and it's been so long since I've been in Paris. The last time I was in Paris was in this vlog right here and I'll link it right up top. And that was probably at the start of the pandemic, back in February 2020, I believe. So it's been almost two years since I've been in Paris and I'm very excited. I will definitely be going out and exploring by myself on the layover because I don't really know anyone that I'm working with. So I will most likely be on my own. This layover is gonna be 26 hours. That's a pretty long time. And we have two daily flights to Paris right now. Just for the month of January and February. So the specific trip that I'm on is the 26 hour layover. So I got really lucky that I was able to pick this up. But if you're new to this channel, I'm a Miami based flight attendant. Please subscribe if you're not, turn on the bell. It'll let you know every time I post a new video. Also follow me on Instagram. For those of you who are already following me on Instagram, you probably already saw a little bit of what I did when I was in Paris. All right, I'm at the airport now. I'm at the employee parking lot. I have about 30 minutes before I actually have to be in the terminal. So it's now time for my crew break. Just did the meal service, the drinks, the dinner. And now it's my turn for a break. It's probably gonna, gonna be about an hour, 45 minutes or so. And I'm ready. And welcome to my hotel room in Paris. I've stayed at this hotel before with John like three years ago, three, four years ago. When we came to Paris on vacation, we actually stayed at this very hotel and now I'm here working and staying here. Anyways, I have to show you this awesome view that I have in Paris. You guys ready for this? What <laughs> a view. Out of the view of the dumpster and uh, yeah. Not not much to see. But hey, that's okay because I'm in Paris and I'm so excited to be here. I am gonna do like so many basic touristy things today and I just cannot wait. But first things first, I'm gonna take off this uniform and then take a nap because it is currently eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I need to take at least a three and a half hour nap so I can function the rest of the day. And then I'm gonna go out on the town. Three hours later. Do I look tired? Because I am. I only slept like two and a half hours, but I'm ready to get out on the town, go walk around. The weather's actually pretty nice today. The sun's out. I think the last few days it was raining. But today, luckily for me, I got some sun. So first stop is gonna be the grocery store because you know, I always love to go to the grocery stores in other countries. So I'm glad that I woke up when I did because I just saw that the grocery store is actually closing in 30 minutes from now. All right, so that grocery store was really, really tiny. It's like an express store. A coworker actually told me to go there, but <laughs> it's a really small store. So I'm gonna go to the, the big grocery store, which is called the Monoprix. It's about a half a mile walk. So I'm gonna go do that instead. All right, I got a few things. I didn't really find much that I needed or that I wanted. That's okay, I didn't spend too much. Uh, now heading back to the hotel, go drop off my groceries and then see what else I do. Just got back to the room to drop off my stuff. Let me show you really quick what I got. Not that much. I basically just got French butter. I think that's salted. I think this is unsalted. These are like the classy high-end French brands. And then this is just like the store brand. So I wanted to get like one of each. Cause as you guys know, I do like to bake. So now I can make croissants with some French butter. <laughs> I also got these cookies that I bought in Milan, Italy, like two years ago, right before the pandemic started. And I've been thinking about these ever since. They are so good and I love everything Nutella. So I had to get this, although I think they're overpriced. They were like five euros and I don't think it was that much when I bought it in Italy a couple years ago. So, all right, I'm gonna put these butters now into the fridge and then head back out. OMG guys, look, they have Orange Theory here in Paris. I had no idea that Orange Theory expanded outside of the States. Who would have thunk it? Can you see it guys? Right there behind those trees is the Arc de Triomphe, which is actually like half a mile away from my hotel. 
not far at all. So it is like 48 degrees, but I'm actually starting to feel warm now. I might have on too many layers. So I started my sightseeing walking tour of Paris and the first stop was the Arc de Triomphe. This was the view of the Arc de Triomphe from the Champs-Élysées. Then I made a quick stop to get macarons or macarons by Pierre Hermé, one of the best macaron shops in Paris. After spending a lot of money on macarons, I went back out and continued my walk down the Champs-Élysées. I love seeing the architecture, French cafes, and passing by the high-end shops. As I kept walking, I got my first view of the Eiffel Tower. I continued walking and finally got to the Louvre Museum, or as they say in French, Le Musée du Louvre. I then caught the metro back towards my hotel and grabbed a quick gin and tonic at a pub before grabbing dinner. I am so French. You wanna know why? Cause I got McDonald's. I am such a basic person that I got McDonald's in Paris. Although, do I really care for French food? I mean, it's not my favorite. I didn't come here to eat French food. To be honest, I haven't eaten since the flight last night. So I am pretty starved and the restaurants here don't open until super late. And it was like 5.30 and I was like, I am really hungry. <laughs> and the closest thing to my hotel was a McDonald's. So I got McDonald's. Don't judge me. I had a really good day. Uh, according to my Apple Watch, I walked eight miles today. That's a lot. And I had blisters on my pinky toes to prove it, which I will not be showing you guys. So, oh my gosh, the jet lag caught up to me. But again, I'm just a flight attendant here on a 26 hour layover. I just wanted to do a little bit of sightseeing. I'm gonna be doing a full trip to Europe, Italy specifically, at the end of February. And we're gonna be flying on Delta Airlines. We actually purchased confirmed tickets. So we'll definitely be going and we'll be documenting the whole experience. Yeah, I'm totally looking forward to showing you guys that. So because these 24 hour layovers are not cutting it. We're gonna be in Italy like four nights. So I can't wait to share those vlogs with you guys. But for now, I'm gonna have a little rest, eat my McDonald's, or as they say in Paris, in France, McDo. That's what they call it here, apparently. Oh, also, I don't, I didn't even show you guys, but I bought um, the macarons from Pierre Hermé. I wonder if it's any relation to the Hermé of the Hermé uh, purses, the bags. Look how pretty they look. I cannot wait to try them. I'm actually gonna wait and save them until I get home. Time to just like lay in bed, get ready to go to sleep. Tomorrow I have to be up at 7.30, I believe. And then we have like the nine and a half hour flight back to Miami. So guys, it is 3 a.m. I fell asleep for like an hour and a half and then my body just woke me up. So now it's like 3.30 in the morning. Just got a notification that our flight for tomorrow back to Miami just got canceled. So I think there was an issue with the inbound flight coming from Miami, which was gonna be the plane that we were gonna take tomorrow. That plane had an issue, so they canceled that flight, which means that the flight today for us, obviously just got canceled. So I haven't heard anything yet from crew scheduling. They haven't called us. We just got the notifications on our phone saying that our flight was canceled. Usually what they do is they reassign us to the flight the following day, which means they have a whole extra day here in Paris. So that'll be fun. That'll be exciting because that's never happened to me before. I've never been canceled in Europe. So now I have a whole extra day so this layover just turned into like 48 hour layover instead of a 26 hour layover and luckily our flight had very few passengers we have two flights to miami so that'll be a good thing at least the passengers who are on our canceled flight will be able to get accommodated on another flight um but yeah anyways just wanted to keep you guys updated all right i'm gonna try to go back to bed five hours later well guys it happened i got canceled in paris i'm here for another day so usually when cancellations happen when you're on the layover you get a letter under your door and this is the first time that I've received this letter. And it says, dear crew member, please know that your flight has been canceled. You will now depart from the hotel on, and then it tells me like the day that we're leaving and the flight number. And then it tells me what our new pickup time is. So yeah, so right now I'm just uploading some footage onto my computer and then I'm gonna head out and I'm probably gonna head towards the Eiffel Tower area. I didn't do that yesterday, so I wanna do that today. yesterday today is more windy i don't know if you guys can hear the wind but anyways i just walked over to the eiffel tower it took me about maybe 45 minutes to get here about a mile and a half from the hotel all right so let's go get closer all right guys there it is the entire thing 
right here, up close and personal. From the ground up. So you get sights of the Eiffel Tower everywhere you go, or most places here in Paris, but uh, this is the only place where you can see it from the bottom to the top. But I gotta say, that the Eiffel Tower is definitely one of my favorite sights in the world. Number one, number two, probably the Colosseum. Let me know what your favorite sight in the world is. Something also really funny about the Eiffel Tower is that there's so many different angles you can take a photo in front of it. You're gonna end up with like a million Eiffel Tower photos on your camera. Let me know that's happened to you because it definitely just happened to me. <laughs> Heading back toward the hotel now. Like maybe like the general hotel area. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to the room yet. Looks like the sun came out. Uh, it actually was not forecasted. And we have the Arc de Triomphe right there, which also I have to say it is quite a stunning sight in real life. It is gigantic. I don't think the camera does it any justice okay so this is the better view uh i'm a little closer uh there is a lot of noise because this is a this is a very busy high traffic area but yeah look how big that looks and i believe right there up ahead is the champs Elysees. i'm back and i'm freezing so let's see whoa according to my apple watch i walked five miles in the last two hours and 18 minutes and i burned a total of 733 calories so i guess the fact that i burned all those calories makes it okay that i bought para chocolate and a croissant the right way to say it is a croissant please don't judge me for my pronunciations i hate when people on the internet try and like make fun of other people for the way they pronounce things as long as you're trying i guess that's all that matters Ooh. first i have to wash my hands before i show you this so after I showed you guys the Arc de Triomphe, I took a little walk down the Champs-Élysées. If you're not familiar, the Champs-Élysées is a long, long street filled with luxury high-end shops and it's really beautiful. But I went to a really nice shop, it's called La Durée. It's a restaurant and they also have like the section where they sell like croissants and my favorite, macaron. I'm trying to do the correct pronunciation. Yesterday I went to Pierre Hermé, today I went to La Durée. Pretty, huh? But yeah, it's like so impossible to vlog when your your hands are freezing. But I'm glad I got the croissant finally. I've been wanting one. Can you guys see it in there? Look how good that looks. I also had to stop at the grocery store because I ran out of water. So I bought two bottles of water. I know I probably should be drinking a lot more. And then I bought a little bottle of wine, a little cute bottle of wine so that I could have with my uh, treats. So I just had a little bit of a rest. Should I try my croissant or my pan au chocolat? This is a pan au chocolat. Look at that. Looks so good, right? Mm -mm -mm. Unreal. This is so good. And mind you, I've been carrying, carrying it around for like a couple of hours. It's still so good and moist and flaky. And sorry to those of you who don't like the word moist, but flaky and... I'm so happy right now. I'm gonna stop being dramatic. I'm gonna finish this and then I might go to dinner in a little while. All right, so just to keep you guys updated, I actually just ordered a pizza from Uber Eats. I know, I got lazy after I came back and I decided I didn't wanna go back out, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I had the pizza, it was pretty good. I already got my bags packed. Um, as of now, it looks like we're going tomorrow morning. Hopefully there's no more delays. Hopefully tomorrow we go on time, fingers crossed. January has not been my month. I've had a lot of bad luck on all of my trips uh, in January. Anyways, in the morning I have a 6.25 a.m. wake up call. So I'm, I'm gonna get into bed and try to get my eight hours of sleep. It was really cool to be here for two days and exploring the city all by myself because I normally don't do things by myself. I'm always with John. And if you're new here, John is my partner. We always travel together. So um, whenever I go on these on these international Europe layovers, I'm by myself most of the time because everybody else that I work with, they got their own thing that they're doing, or for whatever reason, I, like we don't, I don't vibe or click with them to want to like hang out with them outside of work. Um, so most of the time on these long international layovers, I'm by myself. But it's okay. I've learned to kind of like just like motivate myself, push myself to go out and just explore alone. Although not as enjoyable, obviously, as being with. Like, like someone you love or friends or whatever. But anyways, I'm glad that I did it. I'm happy that I went and saw the site. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbing and I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. The next day. Mm. Bonjour everyone. It is 6.30, it's the next day. Time to go back home, flight's on time. The plane has made it here from Miami. We're all good to go. I'm actually a little hungry, so I'm about to have my croissant that I didn't have yesterday. I'm definitely still a little jet lagged because right now time on the East Coast is like 12.30 a.m. So I still feel tired even though I did sleep like seven hours. Take a look at that beautiful croissant. I wish I could make them like this pretty because <laughs> i have made croissants before and the last time i made it it actually came out really nice i mean i did do a video on me making croissants and i'll link it up here if i can find it yum mm.
it's like a nut croissant and it has like a, a paste on the inside it's like a sweet paste i think it's like walnut maybe and almonds or something so good I need to start getting ready. I gotta be downstairs in like 50 minutes. Okay, I'm pretty much done getting ready. I just gotta pack up the last few things, which are here in my little fridge. <laughs> my two boxes of macarons. So I gotta put these in here, as well as my French butter. Oh, I don't know, maybe to pronounce it beurre, probably. Beurre, I don't know. I'll consolidate the butter, the macarons. All right, so put those in there. Got my Nutella biscuits. Zip her up and then we're ready to go. All right, hotel room, it has been nice having you for the last 48 hours. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about our curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you. And guys, I am back home with my little girl Mia. If you're new to the channel, this is Mia. My little girl, I got her while I was furloughed. Hi, baby. I'm a little girl, I missed you. And then over here on the corner is my little, well, he's not little anymore, but he's little in size, but he's older. He's 15 years old, this is Gio. I know those of you who follow my channel already know them. But just in case there's new people here, we wanna introduce you guys. My macarons, my French butter, it's all here. So excited to be back home. You know what, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these macarons, because why not, right? I've been waiting all these days, so I'm gonna have one macaron. Oh, I remember ordering that one, because I remember telling them that I wanted the rose flavored, and that is very rose flavored. Almost borderline, like a little bit too much, but <laughs> the flavor of the rose really does come out. And it's quite lovely. It almost tastes like perfume a little bit, but not, not in a bad way, if that makes any sense. Now time to take this off. The flight was nine hours. We were not full at all. And yeah, happy to be home on and off for a few days. Hello. Hi, vlog. Did you miss me? I was in Paris for 48 hours. Why don't you tell everybody what I told you the day the flight got canceled? He lied to me. It was really a vacation and he <laughs> pretended that the, the plane broke down. I just told him, I'm like, by the way, the flight didn't really get canceled. I knew it was a long, a long layover. I just didn't want to tell you that it was that long, but no, I'm, I was kidding, obviously. The flight was canceled. It, it was a vacation. You can Google it. He totally had a vacation without me. He <laughs> knows I want to go to Paris and he left without me. No, I nah, wouldn't. he did, he did. I'm just kidding. Don't come for him at the comments. But just because of that I brought you some treat. Ooh. Two different kinds of macarons from two different shops. Oh, I thought you brought me two well, bags. By the, well, first of all, my coworker bought some as well at the airport this morning. I'm like, I really love these bags. And he's like, do you want my bag? I'm like, no. Okay. He's like, I have like hundreds of them. And I'm like, okay. I just have a thing for bags and boxes, guys, so. I already love this little box. Yeah, okay, so that's that one is from La Doi. Yeah, but this, seriously, can we just talk about this box? This box is actually really cute. Really, you like it? Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know, I, I don't feel like I like it that much. Good, because I want the box. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, so that's, I told you that I had a bite of the rose. Oh, that's the rose one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now it. I gotta try it, because he said it, was, it tastes like perfume in the mouth. Yeah, it. it actually did. Take a half a oh, bite. Oh, yeah, I just got that whiff of rose. Yeah. It is kind of. Perfumey, right? Yeah. A floral perfume, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Mm, it's so good for you, too. So tasty, too. It's so tasty, too. Yeah, that is like perfume in a, bo in a cookie. It, I think it is a little too much. I will tell you, though, what I liked about it. This one is salted caramel. What did you like about it? The consistency, like the, the texture, everything was really good. Mm -hmm. But that flavor, no. It was overpowering. Mmm, -hmm. mm, it was good. Cause it has like that chewiness that I like, you know, like a good macaron half. Mm -hmm. Uh, but something really <laughs> interesting for me, I just posted my very first TikTok for this trip. So if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out on TikTok and Instagram. I posted a, it's basically like a, a 60 second quick video of this whole entire Paris trip. So I will link that here, you guys can go check it out. Look at this. Pierre Hermé, mm. Now I wish I would've bought some champagne. We could've had some champagne and macarons. Oh, you, you should've bought some champagne. Champagne. For those of you who watch Emily in Paris, you'll know that champagne is from the show Emily in Paris. Anyways, thank you for watching my Paris trip. My unexpected cancellation in Paris that turned into like a 48 hour layover. It was really nice. I was really lucky for that to happen. That never really happens in Paris. It might happen to some people, I don't know, in like random places in the States, but never somewhere as exciting as Paris, so. I'm truly grateful for that experience. So if you're
you're new here, please subscribe down below and turn on the bell. It will alert you the next time I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>